Well, Dan, no one likes hearing that their bills are going up, especially with the Central Coast already being such an expensive place to live. Now, I spoke with some residents who say they've seen these rate hikes before and they don't want to see them again. Protect California ratepayers, not CalAm and its shareholders. A packed room filled with dozens of concerned residents speaking against California American Water, who is proposing to increase their water bills by 18 percent over the next three years. So the increase covers needed investment in our water infrastructure. We have over 680 miles of mains, numerous tanks, treatment plants, pumping stations, and those facilities do need investment and repair. Residents airing their concerns to the California Utilities Commission Board Tuesday night. Many expressing this isn't the first time Calam has hiked their rates. The water bills just keep going up such a, to such a degree, degree that uh, it's very hard to pay the bills. I know people that do not shower every day, especially people on fixed incomes that are older. The Calam says they're asking for an 18% increase over the next three years. But if you look back over the last 10 years, it's been 17% every year for 10 years. Stedman says she understands residents aren't happy with the proposal. People definitely don't like to see increases in their water bills. However, when you spend the time to really review the projects that are needed, improvements to our treatment plants, um, main replacement programs. I think people understand that that is critical infrastructure that we all rely on. No decision will be made anytime soon, but many are fearful their voices will go unheard. I'm afraid that Cal-Am has more influence over the political bodies than we the citizens have. The California Public Utilities Commission rarely approves our entire request. Um, so typically we put in an application, but what they ultimately approve can be different than our original proposal. Now, if the increase is approved, ratepayers would start seeing a charge in 2021 with a 10 percent jump. In 2022, bills would go up another three and a half percent, and then in 2023, another four percent. Again, no decision was made tonight. Stedman says that will likely happen by the end of this year. Dan? All right. Thank you very much, Kyla. If you could not make tonight's meeting but still want your voice to be heard, you can write to the California Public Utilities Commission on their website. It's cpuc.ca.gov.